Hi, welcome to Linux Zone. In this video, I will show how to install NeoVim in Linux Mint, and you can use this method uh, on other Debian-based uh, operating system like uh, Ubuntu and Debian because they don't have latest version of the NeoVim, which is 0.9.5. So let's begin. So first go to the neovim.io website of neovim then you will find this page click install now now you will get this github page then scroll down to the linux part this is what we need to do these commands open terminal and paste this command it will download the latest version of new vim uh, it is also called nvim when you start this program you will have to write nvim then uh, we have to extract it run this command if you have already has uh, a version installed then you have to run this command sudo rm rf opt slash nvim linux 64 whatever wherever you installed previously you have, to re uh, you have to remove this from this command then extract the tar file with this command Uh, and after extract uh, you can see where it is extracted uh, opt directory so we have to uh, put this in our bash rc file whenever um, we boot uh, the system so it will be in our environment when we whenever we use want to use from the terminal so run this command to edit the bash rc file uh, you can edit with this uh, going to file manager you will see dot bash rc file and then open with text editor whatever you want nano you can use nano scroll down to the end of the file and we will, um, you have to add this these lines it is this is the comment uh, which is showing this new beam installation then this export path to the where you uh, extracted or installed the new beam like opt directory and you can copy paste this from here then put it here and save and exit now uh, you can directly source the file like this now run the nvim command i already installed uh, nvchat so this is look like this so that's it in the video next video i will show how to install nvchat and how to enable lsps like c c plus plus and bash language which is you commonly used in the linux so see you in the next video